My name is uh, Thomas Arlandi and I'm in charge of developer relations at Pebble, the smartwatch company. Pebble is a smartwatch launched on Kickstarter in 2012, uh, really grown up from the maker movement, started from an Arduino and a LCD display when it was still cool before OLED display were everywhere. And uh, from that first Kickstarter project, we shipped the first Pebble watch in 2013, and then just recently announced a new model, Pebble Time, uh, which has a color display, but still seven day battery life, compatible with iOS and Android, and completely waterproof. One of the key components of Pebble is that it's very customizable, and we wanted here at Maker Fair to show how you can customize your own Pebble. So we're showing uh, everyone how to take a picture and very quickly make your own watch face to show the time with the logo of Maker Fair or just a picture of your favorite project or your favorite friend. And uh, that's the simplest customization you can do. But we can go way beyond that. Uh, we're showing how you can control robots using Bluetooth Low Energy directly from your watch to your, to your uh, project, not going through a phone. Uh, we're showing how you can make uh, old school games run on Pebble and uh, we're demoing them on an emulator here. And we have a bunch of other cool ways to integrate with your home, control your thermostat or your, or your lights around you. And this is all very easy because all of the development tools are all available on the web. It's all free and there's tons of examples for C and JavaScript, which the maker community love. The robots are a really cool design. This came up from the NodeBots guy. Uh, big credit to them for coming up. It's a very easy to build design, very cheap. So basically just two servos, uh, one pack of battery. We're using uh, the light blue bean modules, uh, which give us a, a BLE connectivity to those robots, and we can control the value that we send to each of the servos. And so, you know, just using pulse code in modulation, and because the servos have been transformed to be continuous rotation servo, we can control the robots directly from the pebble. So in the Pebble, with the BLE SDK, we have the ability to scan for BLE peripherals, connect to them, discover their characteristics, and then take control of the robot. All the source code for the robot project is completely available on our website. Uh, we have the source code for the robots, but also the source code for the Pebble application, of course. Uh, and it's very easy to do it again. I would say it's a $40 budget to build a complete robot. Uh, the Pebble itself is just 80 bucks. And then uh, it's about uh, an afternoon of work to build a robot and uh, start playing. And if you make several robots, then you can do what we're showing here at Maker Fair and play soccer or just try to see how many robots you can stack on top of each other. One of the very exciting things in the new Pebble Time watch, besides the fact that it has a color display and a microphone, is that it has an accessory connector on the back and that we have a completely open API for this accessory port. So, from a Pebble application, you can use the accessory port as a serial port and transfer information to and from accessories that will be mounted on the, on the band uh, of the user, and we're calling that smart strat. The connector is a four pin uh, connector. We have ground, we have plus five volt. The plus five volt allows the uh, smart strap to charge the watch, but also to power it. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, one data port, uh, and so it's a one wire serial bus. You can send and receive, but not do both at the same time. And the way we intend this to work is that you will send commands, listen for response, send another command, listen for response, or in some specific use case like GPS, you might be just listening continuously for incoming streams of data. If you're interested in building your own smart strap, you can go on our website and download 3D models of adapters that you can put on the back of your Pebble to connect the smart strap accessory port to an Arduino or any other peripherals. You'll just end up with a few wires that you can connect to any device. If you want something a little bit more polished and you want to be able to buy the pieces already made, we're working with Seed Studio to come up with a Pebble Smart Strap adapter that will allow you to connect the Pebble Smart Strap to the Seed Studio shadow line of uh, modules. And the shadow line of modules are those really cool, really small Arduino compatible module that you can chain with each other. So you can have a smart strap with a battery, a vibration engine, a display, an Arduino, a GPS receiver, and then the only limit is going to be the space available on your wrist. This year the smartwatch world is just exploding with many options available on the market. And I think people are just very excited to see that smart strap don't have to be a completely finished and completely closed down product. They can still buy a smartwatch that does everything you would want 
from a modern smartwatch, but also have it on an open platform compatible with iOS and Android that they can easily write apps on it, hack with it, uh, and both on the software and hardware levels. The software API for the smart strap is still in development. Uh, we have some early version that will be available very soon. And we're still very interested to get feedback from the community. So if you think you're going to use this on your project, please go on our website, take a look at the information that's available. It's on developer.getpel.com slash smart straps. And uh, if you have feedback, comments, you'd like the API to be different, now is the time to speak. Uh, we're listening.